rock and stone to the bone. Rock and roll! Mission locked in. Powering up the drop pod. Some rats from the town will pour some like you, Lloyd. I feel like dancing. Classy moves, team. Now quit it. Score! Yeah, all right. Back for more fun. Welcome back, very inebriated. Hey, what's up? Hey, Nova, how are you? Welcome. Rock Welcome and to the lobby. Rock and stone. Come on, guys. Rock yeah. and stone. All right. Hey, what? hey, boss. How are you? I think I'm buying Deep Rock now. Noticed it was on sale. Awesome, Lone Wolf. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun with it. It is a super fun game to be playing, especially in co-op. We fight! Oh, there goes my spine. <laughs> yeah, less than 24 hours now, be witness to this. Awesome, Ricky. I'm back for Hazard 5. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh, yeah, I got this new skin for the minigun. It looks great. And, uh, let's see. What should we run this time? I could run Lightstorm. I, we could do all damage light storm. That could be fun. And then all damage coil gun on it for elimination. <laughs> That's it, and if you guys would like to see anything, feel free to ask. Any sort of builds, anything rock like that. Stone forever. Did I hear a rocket? Rock and stone. Rock and stone. Yeah, rockety, rock rock and and stone. stone. Galaxy <laughs> What is that skin? That is the Builder skin. It's for the uh, Battle Pass this time. So all the weapons will have it. You just got to get scripts to unlock it. And the minigun's pretty high up on there. I don't think it's one of the first weapons, but I think it's like the next series of weapons because it kind of spider webs out. Element King for Scout later. Oh, so just take like as many elements as I can? Yeah, I got to think what that would be. Wake me up when we Uh. Like that! Rock and stone! Cause I could go... I don't think you were coming to remember, boss. I appreciate that. <laughs> Your name will show up on uh, next month's thing, cause I just barely did the... This month's uh, members and everything, but thank you. Uh, you'll have early access to videos too when they go out. When I actually have time to start putting out early access videos and stuff again which should be like later this week I think oh okay it's that way yes gunner yeah you with the guns booyah uh oh cocoon here Everyone wants it loaded. Going down, Okay. I really have a good way of dealing with that. Or any of these little things. <laughs> There's one issue with this build. All right. Hey, there's a fossil down there. Oh, hey, there's Phasey Knight down here, too. Cool. I want to mine every little bit of it. 
just in case. So Mercy, Cryo, or Firebolt? Yeah, we could do that. I was thinking, like, <laughs> having as many elemental status effects as we could. Because we could do lightning and then either fire or ice. I, I would probably do ice for the uh, crossbow, because then I could do fire on, like, the drag with aggressive venting or something. And then, like, electricity from, well, I guess from the bolt and also from, like, an IFG or pheromone from either the bolt or grenades. Do you like the new framework? I do, Bob. It looks really good. <laughs> Especially on the minigun. I think it looks fantastic. Yep, you're my favorite content creator at the moment. And the first ever paid sub to. I got cleared to go back to work the other day, so good time to <laughs> for me to get back. Awesome, boss. Good to hear. So I take it that means your hand is pretty much completely old or most of the way, right? Much better. Through the wall into three exploders. Oh, that sucks when that happens. might deal enough damage to at least slow things down. Let's see for Nexus through the wall, turn my camera ahead. Let's see through the wall, yeah. Oh man, why is there so many exploders? Shields up again. Oh, and I was getting puked on. Okay, I, th I think we're okay. Stop them dead. What's your favorite real life gemstone? Um, I don't know. My brother Tommy really loved like all sorts of just anything with geology. And like, I was like the uh, like prisms. I thought they looked really cool. I don't know if that's really like a gemstone though. Because I, I don't, because I think that's like a type of quartz, and I don't really know if that would really count or not. If so, then I'd pick that. If not, then uh, I don't know. Maybe like a turquoise or something. Yeah. Oh, there's another. Oh, okay. Oh. 
<laughs> Break them all down. All right. I like rubies for their looks and how they are used in high-powered lasers. Oh, really? I wasn't aware of that. That sounds really cool. I was aware that like sapphires were used, or at least some sort of like artificial sapphire was used for like. I think it was helicopter, like windshields. That sounded pretty cool. Red sugar. Yeah, the bone is stable enough to start strength training and working on the muscles as opposite uh, to only stretching it. Finally, get to use my hand again. Awesome. Bye, Ron. Have a good stream. Bye, PC. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. Okay, well, I'm ready, I guess. Uh, here's okay, I think. damage that other one too much again. It's in the wall? Call this in. 2.6 gigabytes. I expected it to be much larger than that. Yeah, it's really small. Deep Rock is really well optimized. You got this. Thank you. Uh, will you be streaming this weekend? Yeah, I'm going to be streaming uh, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Sunday, I'll be streaming Killing Floor, and I'm not sure what else. And then Saturday, I'll be streaming more Deep Rock. Rock and Stone, Rock and Stone die. <laughs> Screws has the properties of bending light in certain ways that create efficient laser. Oh, okay. Our pure diamonds can stand higher temperatures. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. Teach on me. Oh, dang it. I don't think I could have shot through the wall. Hit that. Okay. Die! Die! 
like a stone. For those about to rock and stone, we salute you. Stand back. Yes. Life are inbound. I can't carry anymore. Okay. Why just put up a simple? Hey. Found some nitra. Provided. Gonna go grab that nitro. <laughs> hey Ron, hope you're doing well. Any idea if the wave cooker has any sort of damage drop off at very long ranges? Uh, I don't think it does. It might, might not be like as damage efficient at longer ranges just because you can't hit everywhere with it, but I I'm not sure about that. Maybe Ross. Hi again, Ron. Hi, Silver. How are you today? What's the hardest class to solo? Um, I think that depends more on the mission type. Because, like, unlike the oil refining missions, Gunner can be a, a real pain. Other times, if the map is set up nice, like, it's not bad at all for Gunner. So, I, I don't really know. I guess it depends more on the mission type than necessarily just solo in general. I think if I was to pick it, I'd probably say Driller has the easiest time overall, just because you can do everything. There's a dreadnought cocoon here. All right, yep. Yeah, We're the best. Let's rock and stir. Oh wait, there's another phase unite. That's cool. I don't think I've seen My two in the same told mission. Me they use real mules back in the day, Lights keeping up. up the tradition. Yeah, I'd probably say like Driller, then maybe Engineer, and then like Scout, and then Gunner. So I guess Gunner would be the most difficult to solo with. But that depends on the mission type a lot, because like on Escort missions, Driller's great. I mean, Gunner's great. Since you can deal with pretty much everything. And like Elimination missions, you're usually pretty great too. It's just like, Oil Refinery missions might not be so awesome. You're running my favorite gunner at the moment. Let's <laughs> let's turn the gold. Yeah. It does a lot of single target damage. Sorry if I hit Genova. Wasn't trying to. Everybody, 
Hardest class to solo is probably engineer in general. Uh, gets the worst self defense tool. Hardest class to solo and elimination mission. Uh, is definitely driller though. Or single target DPS at all. Uh, potentially. I guess it depends on what build you're running. Because you can run like Sludge Blast Driller and do pretty well. Or uh, Ice Spear. Or Ice Storm. Or even Face Melter and do okay on elimination missions. Um. Kind of the same thing with like engineer can have a lot of defense for certain things. We're rich guys, awesome. Go junk under me, nice. We're rich. Oh. We're rich. Stone brothers, rock and stone. Hello, around you, my friends. Just started playing DRG. All of your videos in the game are extremely helpful and informative. Keep up the good work. Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad that they could help you out. Uh, is it hack on? I want to say. I'm glad that the videos can help you to some extent. Cheers from Brazil, rock and stone to the boat. Hey, Roberto, rock and stone. Rising solo scout escort. Yeah, solo scout escort can be. Tough. Same with solo scout um, salvage. Could be tough. I mean, there's there's missions and stuff that every class does well, and other ones don't do as well. I'd like to fight a fully mature dreadnought. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Hey, Ron Opal as well. Yeah, Nez. How are you? Rock and stone in the heart. Rock Last stone one to rock and stone. Thanks for the first round. All right. Let's see. We've got mining mission there. We can go on. We can do that. I don't really have anything in particular. This looks nice. Sell jadids, get money. Okay. I think I'm actually lowest on jadids, so. What would you like to see most in season three? I have no idea, Mister. <laughs> season two just barely got here. I want to enjoy this before I start thinking of season three. I'm not sure what they'll do. Uh, let's see, that's true. At the end of the day, it does depend on the build you bring with the mission type you're on. They did an excellent job of balancing all the classes, feel strong and weak sometimes. Yeah, exactly, mister. Exactly. You guys like more nade launcher, breach cutter, shard diffractor? Um, I think grenade launcher is the funnest still. Doesn't necessarily mean it's the best, but I think it's the funnest. <laughs> Cheers, Mike! I needed that! I'd love to see a new class. I don't know if they'll do another class, Jose. I wouldn't be against it, but I don't know if they will. Back. Welcome back. I got unstable overclock for the big laser today and it shreds. Just can't tap fire it. Oh, the where you have to fire it all Well, you sort of can. <laughs> when you're firing it, if you use your pickaxe, you'll cancel it and then you'll go right back to holding it, so then you can't it you still have to wait for the charge up, but it doesn't make it so you have to empty out the entire magazine. Have you seen the lights out mission with Axis and drilling in the name of? Would you ever try it? Maybe I might. I did see, uh, yeah, I did see that video from drilling in the name of when they had made it, which is pretty cool. Fat boy destruction is something else. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel about the coil gun still seeing your shots that dreadnought it seems like it just does so little damage for how much ammo you have i feel like elephant rounds would chunk uh potentially i still like it i think it's cool um hmm. maybe i'll run 
Maybe I'll run one of the other ones. Maybe I'll run Hurricane and yeah, let's try like ammo. Let's see how ammo does for this. We fight. If you guys like to see anything in particular? Feel free to ask. Yeah! Manager class uses whip to boost the other <laughs> miners. <laughs> Beatings will continue until morale improves. <laughs> Also, thank you for the subscribe, Roberto. I appreciate that. Now yeah, we're going to Carl's Hammer. I've saved so many teammates from leeches with the coil guns penetration. That is one really cool thing about the coil gun. Still waiting to get the salvo module for Gunner's Hurricane. That one's really cool. What's your favorite minigun skin? It might be this new one. Like the new builder one. I really like that framework. The um, fourth relic one looks fantastic though too, especially with the company paint job. Yeah, the new uh, battle pass stuff from this season looks awesome. I love the the builder looking things. <laughs> I like that animation too. It's like she's bigger on the inside. Yes. Now I have two fun animations. Got my rockets. I got my floaty orb. Oh wow. We got a burst turret here. Yeah. Deployed up. Stay back. Stay back, you little buggers. Oh. Yeah, you know what? Here, get into cover. Yeah, that one not count. Put this thing together. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah, take him out, bot. Fell down? Oh, okay. Oh, all the way down. That's too steep. Shield ready again. At least I didn't die from fall damage. Yeah, there you go. I'm coming to help. Maybe. <laughs> oh, that was just in time. Any repulsion turrets? Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of them. I've never tried something. Hang on. I just thought of this. Oh, okay. That doesn't seem to make a difference. It's not like how drillers drills work. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I just realized I don't have born ready for this. That's an oops. We got a nice little cave to fight in, though. Oh, I held it too long.
There's an event here. Look what I found. Things are about to heat up, lads. Hmm. I feel like the shard defractor is the best weapon for engineers. Uh, if you want a bunker because of the death beam, go brute. <laughs> yes. They move as you hack them now? Uh, sometimes if they're on uneven surfaces. Do this in my sleep at this I point. think. Lloyd! I found some more kind. Uh, hi, Penguin. The repulsion place. pit. Yeah, exactly. Call we call this place the repulsion pit. <laughs> the coil gun, triple chamber overclock. That one's really good. Uh, is there a reason why two other shots don't deal the same damage as the first one? Oh, yeah. Um... I guess it's just because of the cost that it has. The less damage, less damage, but less ammo. Yeah, kind of think of it that way. They deal half damage each, I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. There is more kind here. I'm ready. Supply drop has been ordered and is on the way. Yeah, let's get another overclock. Be ready for anything. Have we tried the wave cooker with thermal Even shock upgrade and sticky flames yet? Yeah, I have Harrison, it's really strong. Kill him, grab the samples. That's what the shot is at overclock. Yeah, yeah. Rock and stone, just tried out engineer and driller's weapons. Gotta admit I love them. Uh, I just don't know if I can give up my pocket nuke launcher. <laughs> yeah. Right there, okay. Cosmetics, I want weapon. Mega power. Ooh, mega power split. That one was good. Rock and stone in the heart. Much better. 
I'll beat your record this time. Just ammo. watch me. Wave cooker plus cryo is insane. Wave cooker plus diggy flames is also insane. And like nuclear cooker with a uh, sludge blast was really fun too when we were playing that earlier. What's the best way to build the rocket launcher? AOE or direct damage? Uh, it depends. Uh, good. Um, depends what you want. AOE gives you more crowd controls, and the target damage obviously gives you more single target damage, but <laughs> uh, usually I build it for more single target damage. That's our own body. But either way, you can play it. Like, it, it works well, either one. I think the only overclock that I specifically go with AoE... Well, there's a couple that I go with AoE damage. I, that, I think there's mostly two, and that's the one that increases your AoE damage and your AoE radius. And the other one that... Uh, the Mind Layer system, since that one just scales off of AoE. If you're just using the regular um, auto cannon, I usually build similar to this. Or it's like extra ammo, armor breaking. Usually I don't go with magazine size here. I go for rate of fire, but since I'm using the rate of fire upgrade, I just take that, then the shrapnel load, and then the uh, stun. But either way works just fine. Stone. <laughs> Wave cooker plus flamethrower equals pyromania <laughs> squared. Exactly. Wave cooker plus anything equals fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I didn't notice that somebody called in a resupply. I could probably use that because I'm. Sort of running out of shots. Oh. I must have got hit by a couple of things. Yeah. <laughs> that explains why I went down so quick. Uh. Supply. Yeah, that kind of works. Reminds me of uh, Rock and Stone Ron. Rock and Stone Jeff, how are you? Is early access just heard of it yesterday? Uh, no, this is live now. Um, if that's what you mean, or do you mean the game is the game isn't in early access anymore? Um, it came out of early access in I guess as officially when season one came out for everything. So that would have been. Like the uh, um... thank you. Shield up. Thanks for saving me. Oh. Next one. Yeah, 
as Nemesis. Roger that. Supplies are coming. Stay back. Need more rockets. Oh, I do need more rockets. I'm out of rockets. Resupply arrived. Go restock. I'm taking some of the ammo. Never found it. Nemesis. Oh, it's the Nemesis. Ready. Oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. He is digging there. Okay. How hard is Nemesis? It depends. Yeah. He can be pretty easy or he can be kind of a pain. If you have a bunch of like fire, you can kill him really quick. Or if you just have really high single target damage, you can also be killed pretty fast. Is there a weak point? Can you hit some? Uh, Yeah, if you hit it in the eye or if you hit it in its uh, exhaust things, like along the side. Oh no. <laughs> He was hiding in the ceiling. <laughs> it was too late with Thrax and his eye. Yeah, it has to like break, and I think they can only break once. Is that the top one? Oh, okay. Truly a nemesis. You do be the nemesis. <laughs> Armor breaking and fire are the ways to beat nemesis. Yeah. Only once. Yeah, I think like you can only break his eye one time and then. Here, I can actually iron will myself. Back and brutal. Oh, I didn't throw my shield out in time. Dang it. I don't know if that actually was able to get up there and hit, but might have been a little bit useful. I'm gonna go back and get that other resupply because I did not. Come on, guys! Rock and stone. We fight for rock and stone. It's rock and stone. Nope. Gonna incinerate him. Can charging. kill him with heat, but it takes. You have to make sure he walks through the fire. Yeah. Are we still alive? <laughs> Luck mostly. Ammo taken. That is the iron wheel. Yeah, iron wheel also helped. I think we're out of iron wheels though. Oh, I still have iron wheel. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm out of iron wheel and. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we're down by about half of our iron wheels. <laughs> 
Which that's Mining okay. Is hard work. Good thing we're dwarves. Eight sticky flames to make Don't a ring of fire around it. Yeah, that works. Oh, now we have an official sword coming for us. Okay. Cool. Hopefully I don't get sucker punched by an oppressor this time. That sucked last time. Swarm, it's a big one, team. Engineers, yes, we're ready. That will teach you. Oh, thank you, Kronos. I appreciate that. The detonator? Am I going towards the detonator? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not a bolt, too? Yeah, we're the robots. Alright, reload my hurricane. <laughs> Cycle that around, I guess. Okay. Driller's got that. I've got this guy obsessed with me, I guess. Fire in the hole! No, oh. <laughs> that was my last missile. Okay. Is this has five? Yeah, this is has five. Welcome to Has Five, rival presence and all. Get out of there. Okay. Awesome. Let's see, I'm gonna buy the game today because on sale. Cool, David. I hope you enjoy it. It's a super fun game. It's definitely worth the yeah, price. Let's get it. Alright. Ron, how are you enjoying season two? I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, we've been stacking an IFG with it, so it slows it. Awesome! Yeah, IFG is really good, too. It slows everything down, lets you get some more damage. Red sugar. I would pay $60 for this game, or not? Yeah. And it's definitely like triple A price, especially for everything that you get in it. Okay. Thank you for the stuff too, Ryan. I appreciate that. Let there be 
I'm okay. a jock, not a Dang geek. Where's Hexing? I will sack you. Dang it. There we go. <laughs> All right. Got the hacking done. Failed it a couple of times, but got it. This is season two. Yes, this is season two. But uh, everything that was in season one, you can still get. The devs made it very clear that they did not want to have anything like behind anything that people couldn't get that wasn't like a DLC or something. And all the DLCs are just for cosmetics. Time to restock. Rock and stone, Blair. <laughs> get this home safely, will you, Molly? Getting more ammo. How about you run combat mobility with the auto cannon? Uh, as for a secondary surprise me, I'm just curious how to set up the auto cannon mobility. From Thunder. <laughs> I can show you that, Gudra. I can show you the one that I use. All right, next one I said I would do elemental scout though. So we'll do elemental scout and then we'll do auto cannon mobility. Or not, the, yeah, <laughs> auto cannon mobility. <laughs> well done. Secondary objective completed. Grabbing ammo. I needed that. Usually I build a like a, a tank build. Because if you build for the faster rate of fire, it already has a faster rate of fire. So after you fire two shots, you're at max rate of fire. So you can go with either the damage one where you just get that extra 10 or 15% more damage. Or you can go with the tank one where you just have the 33% more tank on it. So you're pretty much always more tanky than usual. I'm also wondering how good that would be since you can run this gun as a tank gun too. I haven't tried it yet, though. All mine here. Yes, the ability to auto cannon is coming up. <laughs> I mean, auto cannon's always been well, maybe not always been good because there was a time when it first came out where it really wasn't that great. Just because you could friendly fire yourself so easily with it. And it might have been bugged to where it was doing more friendly fire damage than it should have. It's kind of similar to how they changed turret arc, where turret arc used to do the same thing. Just take your sweet time, old lady. I've got all day. Is this modded or something? modded there's mods available for it but i don't have any mods on no this is just the regular game Platform. so i've only tested this once but the new crossbow with the electric bolt first perk seemed to stop the detonator oh okay yeah the cr the uh electric bolt slow things down if you stack multiple they stack the slows it works on the dreadnoughts too i think it has the same slowdown as turret arc does Yeah, we might want to fight through the horde first and then we can go. Or then go, yeah. Run swarm incoming. Kill or be killed, team. I'm taking some of the ammo. Much better. There's up. Blast my first time! Okay. I don't think there should be that many more. The wave is almost 
dealt with. Dispatch whatever's left. What? What? There we go. Let me slow things down so we burn a little bit more to the fire. I'm taking some of the ammo. All right, let's go then. Attention. All right, let's go. How does damage mitigation and multipliers work in regards to dwarves? Um, like how much friendly fire damage do you do? Is that what you're asking, Andre? Or do you mean like... How is damage affected, like, by what you have? Tastes better, leaf lovers, or baseball card dump. Okay. I was spending manual heat dump on the Eurus event. Yeah, it's really good. I like it with the speed up, too. It feels real nice. Crazy how often you can hit it. Yeah. It only takes a few seconds. The auto cannon ability. <laughs> What do you do you got? By effects such as armor mods and class specific reduction or perk and weapon mods. Uh well you have you take so much damage from anything that hitting you. Unless, of course, you have some sort of reduction, like each class has a 50% reduction towards a certain element besides Scout, which is 30% from fall damage. Uh, but that also affects a few different things, like the... Um, okay. Like the floor fire in the magma zone. It doesn't say this, but driller is unaffected by that. Same with driller. It does take reduced damage from like the um, uh, the detonator's fire, but not from the detonator's explosion. And then for gunner, it's the other way around. Drop pod departing in T minus three minutes. Yeah, the damage reduction is just a flat amount, and I believe that it's added on to other flat amounts of damage. So it, it works kind of similar to like the bug's armor. Yeah. Oh, thank you for coming to the number, uh, e -Rich. I appreciate that. There's an Erich. Don't know how to pronounce it, but <laughs> welcome. don't have a liver because the alcohol dissolved it. <laughs> also, thank you for the subscribe. Yeah. Hey, Ava, how's it going? Uh, for example, what if you take the perk that gives you resistance when you're close to Molly charged with the coil gun? Does it fit? Yes, those add on top of them. It's the same way with like the auto cannon. Um, if you take that, then I believe you get 33%. And from the other one, you get 30%. So I think they add together, so it's 63%. But I think that's the most you can have, because this one is, yeah, 33% damage reduction. And then the passive is um, 30%. I think these are added onto one another, and then they're just stacked on top of each other. Not e -rich, but people say it like that. <laughs> okay. They like that anyways. Well, I'd like to say it right. Anyway, magazines and feedback loop if you have it. Oh, well, there's already been a few requests, Penguin. There's um the, what is it? Elemental build for Scout next. So I'll run Bullets of Mercy and we'll run this with... Let's run the Fire Bolts. I ran the Ice Bolts earlier. 
So yeah, we'll just keep it that the same. Keep them shites off me. I'll keep them. And then after life. that, it will be combat mobility with the auto cannon with something else. Let's get down and dirty with some tunnel rats. Yeah, yeah. tunnel rats. Give me Welcome that mega to power supply. I need it. City population, mate. Again, the Sticky Flames mod, don't have that overclock yet. Plus the microwave gun makes Driller a whole new class, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Sticky Flames is really good on the flamethrower. Um, you could do it without that though. Like if you have a uh, Sticky Additive, that would work too. That's just the clean one. It doesn't give you nearly as much time with the Sticky Flames, but it's only a bonus. Cheers, everyone. I'll try to remind you after the combat move 30 if you have time. Yeah, sure, Penguin. I'm sure we'll have time, but... Um, um, yeah, because I've only been streaming for an hour, so I'm sure we'll have enough to go through these ones. Hmm. Got an elimination mission. Yeah! Rock and stone! What an oil mission. Let's rock and stone! Selected, powering up the drop pod. Get on board, team. Haven't done one of those yet. Rock, rock and stone. Have you danced while wearing a medical gown? I don't know, Andre. Maybe. I feel like I have. Stone in the heart. By the beard. Drop sequence. All right. Never alone. Rock and stone forever. Uh, let's see, I just don't use driller overclocks a lot, so it's my own fault for that. <laughs> and I only have the ammo clean for the flamethrower. That one's still really good, boss. Like, the flamethrower doesn't have any bad overclocks either. They're all good, it's just the flamethrower also doesn't have a whole lot of, like, real interesting overclocks either. Most of them are just, we added more flamethrower to your flamethrower. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you like the flamethrower. Uh, let's see, what if you shot an arrow through a driller's flames to become fire? You can shoot it next to, uh, the sludge pump. And if you do that, then, uh, it'll catch it on fire. We got the new mini game. Cool. Though we had this year. That's awesome. Let's get the so much stuff. Stand clear. Pump jack inbound. I'm totally loaded. Let's get the pump jack hooked up. All right. I actually think we're going to make it. Did I hear a rock and stone? You did. Everybody's got some blood cells and organs. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. My stock flamethrower is basically a sniper flamethrower. Uses the balance mod for range. Ooh, yeah, that one's really good. That one became even better since you can light the robots on fire from even further away. That one used to be kind of just a eh, meh zone. overclock. Now it's really good. Fine. <laughs> Whoops. 
Bugs love sneaking up on me today. Yeah, I mean, it happens. Oh, there's the regular one left. Oh, wait, nope, never mind. Come on, guys! Rock and stove! Like that! Leave that there for now. Be sure to grab it on the way back. <laughs> Secondary objective completed. Fine job. Oh, fantastic. Hidden in this game, it seems. Yes, exactly. Which overclock is that? Uh, bullets of mercy on this one, and fire bolts on the crossbow. The scanner just lit up like a Christmas tree. We got a swarm incoming. All right, swarm. That'll be easy enough to deal with, though. I was dropping part of a jet. It's. Yeah, it's not gonna hit anything. Stop him dead. Dice room, is that new? No, it can only appear in these missions or in the um, pointing strike missions. It's just the more rare of the secondaries as the new season. It's really good. I like it a lot. One thing I wonder is why on site refinery is always packed with loot bugs. Um, I think it's just so if you get unlucky and you don't get enough nitra that they will spawn to guarantee that you get a resupply. Plus, with the map being pretty open and not necessarily that big, they usually spawn together. I plunked down. Step one, trigger the self destruction. Oh, yeah. Pack the antenna. Step three, drop it. Better than flying. Yeah. Getting supplies. Ready for the hack? <laughs> Remember, we'll need to hack the antenna nodes before this thing overloads and blast us to bits. Move out. Maybe we 
should build. Yeah, we could build the pipes real quick. Either way. Is there an antenna on the roof? Lover at work. Oh yeah, up there. Stone enjoying the crossbow run. Yes, the, the crossbow is really good count. I really like it. I actually got all the overclocks I today for it too. All Steve. lights read green. Pipelines and pump jacks are all in place, and the liquid morkite is waiting. Okay. Return to the refinery and start up the pump sequence. Time is of the essence. Hack the active antenna nodes to abort the self-destruct sequence. <laughs> Oh wait, it's further over here. Cutting wires. Easy, does it? Eh. Dang it. That's the armor. I'm gonna get this. No. Ah, I screwed that one up. Alright, somebody else try. That was bad on my part. <laughs> Sorry about that. Taking out See, can I redeem myself? <laughs> there we go. That one's hacked. All right. Redeem myself slightly. Still screwed that one up a couple of times, but. <laughs> Oh, they're right next to one another. Wait, did the shredder shoot me? Oh, it's that one up there. I'm disabling this one. Ah! Got it. Okay. Excellent work. Don't forget we to did it. We need these oh yes. Yeah, yeah get that get that data. And then we also have this over here. Very good team. Management is satisfied with your performance. How good is the explosive toxin arrow? Um, I think it's better on the lower difficulties than it is in the higher ones because once the enemy dies, it takes a second to go off. So for me, it's kind of difficult to like uh, get the timing right since the bugs move so fast on like Hazard 5. I think on the lower ones, it would be fine. It does decent damage over time. I'm just glad I don't have to do industrial sabotage in this season as much. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can. You still get daily assignments for that. <laughs> we were doing one of those earlier. Blue bug spawns didn't make it satisfying to kill them all in big resource explosion. <laughs> what happens if you don't do it in time? It explodes. It sets out a range. You can see it by an orange indicator, and then it will explode, dealing damage to everybody inside that. It doesn't seem to do too much, but I've only been on the edge of the explosion, so. Attention! Okay. Look at it go! Cursite analyzer booting up. Volatile cursite deposits in the area are infecting local wildlife. Get as many oh, samples as you can from the infected time. beasties. We need to get to the bottom of this.
Five more of them. Nope, sorry, Steve. <laughs> Steve's on fire. I made him stronger. <laughs> well, I think we actually have a chance to make it out I guess driller again, because that's the weapon overclock I get. Hey, I got blistering necrosis. Awesome. That radius is massive. Uh, if you fall, the all the network. <laughs> yeah, do it. Sight bugs appear. Four doors pointing guns at it menacingly. Surviving diggles. I am in danger. <laughs> Refinery and all oh, I got blistering your crosses. Oh, capacity. be warned. We do. The noise will draw in the locals, so stay on your toes and do what you can to protect and maintain. <laughs> Roger that. Supplies are coming. The refinery is attracting the bugs. Hold the line while the pump sequence continues. Burn them all. Supply flight launched. Better stand back. Get him, Steve. You got this. Malfunction along the pipeline. Maintenance crew to work. Yeah, you should die. I'll catch fire in a second. How common is Nemesis spawns? Uh, not super common. Although he can spawn multiple times throughout a mission. Because we had one game the other day where he spawned five times in it. He can also pretty much spawn at any point during the missions. All the noise is pulling in the locals. Take them out before they gnaw up our pipelines. Bomb sequence 50%. Keep all systems running, and we're done in no time. Actually, hang on. Oh, yeah. pipeline is fixed, but there are yeah. more outstanding issues. Gotta get maximum value. Pipeline functional again. However, we still have malfunctions in the system. Machinery is running again. Well done. Yeah, we got more bugs coming in the other way. Supply drop has been ordered and is on the way. Jammed. You need to maintain it. 
Genesis was a stalker in love <laughs> for Ron. That one dig. Yeah, that, we got him a lot. That was a long mission. We did succeed that mission, though. Is this four or five? This is five, JP. Pipeline repaired, but other pipelines are still malfunctioning. This is fun! Pipeline's operational again. You're doing fine. Lights up! Liquid Morkite quota met. Hit the return button on the refinery up to send the goods to orbit. We'll send in the drop part to get you out. We got company. Incoming swarm approaching you. Coming swarm approaching us. Well done. Cargo rocket is returning to orbit. We're sending in the drop pod to get you out. Hang tight. Shot at. Yes, I am. Inhibitor field up. We're good. Extraction commencing. Good work. Yeah. That's why the rocket stone came for the first round. You remove did they remove the beam deflection overclock on the shark yeah they did that one got changed now if you shoot it on your platform it will cause your platform to explode dealing damage to everything around it which is a lot more usable yeah which class has the best ammo economy uh probably gunner you get a lot of shots with gunner probably gunner yeah probably gunner I feel like I never run out of ammo with the auto cannon. Yeah, the auto cannon takes a long time to run out of ammo with. And that's what we're going to be using it, next. Rock and so, Trigger auto cannon with combat mobility. Usually the way that I build combat mobility is going with ammo, lighter barrel assembly, um, any of these are fine. I think I usually go armor breaking and then full rate of fire. Nah, I didn't get anything new with the coil gun. <laughs> uh, you know what? I haven't used magic bolts in a while. I kind of want to use it, especially with this new skin that I got. Yeah, that works. I kind of like this, although I don't know why it has this weird handle thing up above it. Uh, yep. There we go. And I do want born ready with this one. Salvage mission. Mission selected. Powering up the Seems drop good part. to me. Get on board, team. If yeah, I but if you use neurotoxin, you can pop off a few stone. rounds, then dodge. Yeah, Round you can. I'm a little disappointed with that move. I would have found a way to use it. <laughs> Drag with rewire mod. Yeah, Dragon Three Rider mod technically has a lot of ammo. Darkness is our friend. Don't know how practical it actually is to be firing like that, but it does. That skin looks like a revolver, uh, like the RE45 yeah. from Apex Legends. Oh, okay. Yeah. Exhaust. Yeah, no problem. Rocket. Gonna try stone. thermal exhaust feedback this time. Okay. Love me some has six salvage. <laughs> There's more bots. <laughs> Rival presence is crazy. Yeah, it can be. We should be fine. My build's not way great for fighting them, but 
Should be fine. Life is like a dice. Rock so and yeah. stone, brother. Yeah, this should Rock be fun. And roll and stone. Just be sure to overheat your weapon and carry manually. No, yeah, that definitely helps for that one. It's yeah. Galaxy's beer for me. <laughs> I think it was ordered when there was only three. I can get blistering yes, necrosis. Clock is gonna be amazing. <laughs> He's got two bulk deaths on has two. Yeah, bulk deaths can spawn just randomly. They have like a 3% chance of spawning. I have sunburnt ears and they really hurt. Oh, me too, trash can. At least one of my ears. That doesn't super hurt, but it does sting every once in a while. Yeah, I burnt the other day when I was out helping my neighbor with his irrigation system. After we broke that one, <laughs> mm, I had to fix it. It'll be fine. Proceeds to get oofed by Nemesis <laughs> potentially. Yeah, I also had like a sun sunburn on my Rocket hand too, which is kind of weird because it's only like right there. Dice. What are you Rocket waiting stone, for? Let's go. I guess that's just because I was. Digging men. I don't know, I must have been sitting like this way towards it because I can also feel it around that side of my neck. I don't know if I said thank you for the subscribe, but thank you for the subscribe, Joker. I missed that one about five minutes ago. Sorry about that. Oh, also thank you for the donation to St. Jude's Hospital. Hang on, let me. Read that donation. We are raising money for uh, St. Jude's Children's Hospital. If anybody would like to donate, love the DRG community and love your content, keep it up. Oh, well, thank you, Zenith. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the $89 going towards St. Jude's. That is awesome. Yeah, we're just going to be continuing this. My goal was 200 but we just hit that. It's, we can always go higher than that. All of it goes directly to St. Jude's Children's Hospital, which is a nonprofit organization. That helps with families um, who have children that have uh, various diseases. It helps with them. And it makes it so the parents don't have to pay any amount. Because all of it's through uh, donations like this. And that actually... Uh, <laughs> I forgot. They actually said that I could show my thing now. And I haven't done that in the last few days. I should. They said me. Oh, no, I buried it under books and stuff. They actually did send me a whole package full of stuff where I've got like googly eyes and other things that I should be using for incentives. I still have part of the one that they sent me last year too where I still have like that uh, I was gonna say firework but it's not really a firework it's one of those things that you pull it and you know sprays out like celebration things. Cause I forgot to do that last year when we hit our goal. Uh, what level do you need to get access to the new secondaries? That's level 21 on any character. So like if you want the coil gun on Gunner, you'll have to get Gunner to level 21 and then you can uh, unlock it at any time. Bunch of bugs. Alright, I like the look of this. <laughs> it's pretty good. So nice to have magic bolts back too. <laughs> I haven't used it since the new coil gun came out.
Yeah, <laughs> cover me. I didn't realize it was right here, but awesome. Yeah, but this being rival presence and being has five, it honestly hasn't felt too bad so far. Get behind something. It's been okay. Move it! It's gonna blow! No problem. Didn't realize you left. <laughs> Well, I mean, that was like how me and Johnny were trying to play Left 4 Dead 2 yesterday. But we just ran into technical difficulties because... Um, Johnny's headset wasn't set by default since I guess his Discord had an update or something. So we spent the first like 20 minutes of what would have been the stream just trying to figure out the technical difficulties <laughs> before we could actually play. It was fun playing that though. Custom maps we had were interesting. One sentry gun ready to be built. Stream, gotta go. All right, Dark. You have a great rest of your day. It was fun talking with you. You is functional again. Great work. Um, yeah, let's go over there. I need that pearl, and we also got that other pearl, and we got the Bismore. <laughs> Get there. Shoot those bags on its back before it gets close. Yeah, bug. Because he seems to be stuck there, just stunned in place. Zip line ready, locked and loaded. 
Yeah, I think my Discord got changed for some reason too. Uh, that stream was fun though. <laughs> yeah, it was a fun stream. Uh, so many of the custom maps that people have made for that game are amazing. Like, it was funny, we have uh, one video up on the channel that's um, from us playing Resident Evil 3, like in Left 4 Dead, and we couldn't figure out what we were supposed to do, and we actually looked up a Resident Evil 3 guide in it. It was so accurately made that we could use it. Uh, which was just hilarious. I think we might have done the same one for the Silent Hill 2 one. Establishing a proper connection between the pod and the space rig. Set up the uplink. Ready to shoot. Getting supplies. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Sentry gun needs assembly. It's all just ready. Uplink ready. Triangulation initiated. Okay. Do not leave the triangulation zone or we will lose the connection. Uh, that bar over the time actually makes it kind of difficult to see how many bullets you have left in your gun if you're using that as an indicator. Interesting. like that in games huge fan of the cod zombies black ops 3 cold wars yeah at 75%, almost there. i haven't played cod zombies in a while but i really liked playing it when i did i think the last one i played was actually like black ops 2 to kill some more but i haven't like kept up with call of duty games for a long time Kind of similar to that that we played not too long ago. Actually, I think it just came out a couple days ago. That was the uh, Glove Tastic Back for Glove, which played very similar to like Call of Duty Zombies. Fuel cells have arrived. Get them connected to the drop pod. And that one was fun to play. Lightweight magazines and feedback loop on the shard detector next. All right. I think I feedback and loop. I think that's the only overclock that I have for that one. Because for some reason it's giving me all the crossbow ones and microwave ones. Fuel cells connected to drop pod. Prepare the fuel cells for charge sequence. That should be good, yeah. That other hole really doesn't matter. They'll just come around it anyway. Alright. 
<laughs> yeah. All right. Fuel cells charging. Stay close to keep them operational. We're expecting an increase in hostiles. Take him out. Time to hurt him as I dashed into him. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, Nemesis, and I we left behind Spicy Nacho. No, <laughs> uh, hey, Kazan, how's it going? Uh, what overclock did you use on the GK2? Uh, the overclock I was using on the GK2 was Bolt and Mercy. But yeah, I'll do lightweight magazine for the shotgun next with the feedback loop for the shard diffractor. Did they nerf the amount of Nemesis spawns? Uh, I don't know. Seems like there's been a lot less of them now. Mm, maybe? <laughs> oh, we got our asses so how come fire is the only way to win the game? Oh, you don't need fire. You can use just about anything. That's quite the end of that. Yeah, that was quite the ending of that mission. All right, so Elementary. engineer with lightweight magazines. I think I'll go with extra ammo. 
And then the feedback loop on the shard diffractor. Then did we get another overclock from that one? I'll play anything. <laughs> No, I, I guess that was last game where I got the blistering necrosis. You know, a lot less nemesis? Huh. I guess the new engineer weapon, uh, they say they did? Okay. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> rock and stone! Heck yeah. Let's do this. This has double XP on it, too. This will be worth a lot. Petrified joy. This should be interesting. Do you know how to get mods for DRG? Uh, yeah. There is a modding thing right here, and then you can click install mods, and it's on Deep Rock something or another. How's exhaust vectoring? Just got it. Exhaust vectoring. Uh, for the drag? No, wait, what is exhaust vectoring? <laughs> Gunner. Oh, is it the, yeah, exhaust, oh, okay. Minigun. Yeah, that one's good. I couldn't, for some reason, I was, didn't think that was exhaust factoring. I was thinking it was a uh, thermal exhaust feedback for Scout's drag. I was like, oh yeah, that one's good too. DRG is like the most easy game to get mods on. <laughs> well, one of them, I mean, there are some really easy ones. Like Left 4 Dead is super easy. Payday is not too hard either. Around the backbreaker stout to celebrate. Or if you're doing like a mod installer, it's not too hard to do like Fallout and the other games like that. Skyrim. Rock and roll. Rock solid. If mod system works, because after season two starts, a lot of the community have flat screen and mods enabled. Yeah, I don't think it's compatible with all the mods, so they might need to be updated. Yeah. Feel much better now. <laughs> Give me an arm. All right, we got a gunner and three engineers. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Rock and stone. Rock on. Yeah. yeah rock, rock and, and stone. stone. A car. <laughs> Drop sequence initiating. Rock no, like two gunners, stone. two engineers. There we go. <laughs> Baby 2 is the only game I've modded recently stone. besides DRG and in the process. Reminded me of Minecraft back in the day. Yeah, Minecraft is super easy to mod Let's too. For Carl. No, it's in general you cannot load games if you do not add disable modding. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I figured you just meant like mods weren't were like conflicting with the new season. I can't play Minecraft vanilla, it has to be modded. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever really played vanilla Minecraft. I feel like it's always been modded whenever I've played it. And that's usually because I've been playing it with friends and they're like, oh yeah, you put these mods on it. The last time we were playing that, it was like Skyblocks or something? I think that's what it was called. Someone is trying to extract information on Hoxies and we can't have that. Get in there. F and DRG the go really well together. When you do, uh, okay. And retrieve everything that is nailed down. Hit it. Oh. Found Dirt. some nitra. Fossil here. That warm up. 
Taking care of the turrets out there. The base of is protected by a force field. It must be shut down before we can gain access. You need to find the power stations powering it and disable them. <coughs> As the coil gun? Uh, good. Fun. <laughs> I like it. The shaders at least making it so pleasing visually. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's good to have a scout on the mission. You can get those pesky resources up by yet. Oh, that's awesome. Another overclock. Cool. Weapon ready. Horn ready. What of the oh, and we got a helmet. <laughs> Interesting. That Packing pod in position. Let's get it hooked up to the power station. Chop, chop, team. I was horn ready. Oh, this is actually a pretty good location to fight in. I only need that last one. I was born ready. We'll have a connection in no time. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Connection established. Activate the hacking drone when you're ready. Found it. Nice. Uh, I don't really need last equipment because I already have all of it, unfortunately. Have one more platform. <laughs> Using them up a lot. The hacking bot landed here. Before or after? Yeah, probably before it. All right, 
Well, I'm ready. Boy's got a bad feeling about this one. Analysis engine activated. Cursite infected enemies are being lured to your location. Harvest them for volatile cursite sample and stick them in the machine. R&D are very interested in getting their hands on them. Supplies are on the way. Found a good use for the microwave gun with the sledge game. Uh, radiation works pretty well with it. Because the tier 5 scales both off the radiation damage and off the sledge pump corrosive damage. And it's not bad with sledge blast either, since sledge blast. Or it's probably not too bad with the coupon special either. I got... Oh, efficiency tweaks. That one was good. That one's just a buff to the sugar bracker. How did you get season... Uh, too early? Oh, it's... Well, this is on Steam. Steam came out on the 28th. Everywhere else it was the... Uh, 5th, so tomorrow. And then... Um, the, what was it, the experimental came out like two weeks before that. So I've been playing this for about like <laughs> three weeks like this now. Get rid of this so there's not like a sudden slowdown right there. I think you're the follow zero. Oops, sorry, Steve. Who's a good bug? Yeah, who's a good bug? Wonder if I can teach you some tricks. You need to get water, be right back. Alright. Engineer! Gunner! <laughs> Gunner! Yeah, you with the gun! Are you just gonna stand there or are you gonna shoot? My friend, you buy the beers tonight. You there! You make this team really wholesome. <laughs> you make this team really wholesome. You really rock doing a bang up job, mate. <laughs> You're the finest miner I've ever worked with. Hey, Gunner, you can be my bodyguard. <laughs> hey, you! <laughs> you run. Ready. Oh, hit the caps lock at some point there too. Time to hack that power station to yeah. But it's all this hacking has is has half as effective grow. as fire and ice, right? Yeah, it's not as effective as fire and ice, but it still gives you like range and it still gives oh, you like yeah. decent damage over time. So it's not bad. Like how you your 
I guess it just sort of depends on what you want. I just want to move both these over here. Yeah, everything's gonna. Took out Steve. <laughs> Put the lasers on him. station up there <laughs> everybody on the zip line I'm happy you showed me how to get mods now I have blue nitro red sugar a supercharged shard diffractor and a very bright flashlight all right who's a mean lead killing machine now I'll hack you with my pickaxe next time There we go. Taxi's not the only one who knows his way around a positronic matrix. Let's see, which way is it to the next hacking station then? I love the new voice lines they added and the new rockin' stones you had. Can I get some attention? You're rockin' stone, you're never alone. Platform! Greg Sugar will make you feel better. I think it's down here. Oh, we got another bot. It's the same bot as before. Uh, sorry about that. Bot alert. Yeah. Be sure just to report them. I'll keep banning them as much as I can. There's always a new one that comes up like the next stream, though. So, yo, what's your opinion about the coil gun? I personally prefer to pull dog elephant around since it does more damage. Uh, yeah. I mean, I like that. I do like that you can save uh, allies with, like, the um, coil gun, though, if they get grabbed by like a leech from the other wall. Since when do live stream bots exist? Uh, probably since I started streaming on YouTube, I think. 
so for at least like a year year and a half I only the only use I found is for long-range flame app application yeah it's good for that power station here we need a hacking pot to hack it Roger sending in another hacking pot now may I take two I need one okay Hacking pod has arrived. Establish a transmission. Yeah, these particular bots are kind of new, though. I guess they've been around for the past like. <gasps> they honestly haven't. They've been kind of back and forth for the last like four-ish months. These transmitter nodes are as light as a. But they've been getting worse the last couple weeks. Like we've had almost like one of these each time I've streamed. And I stream about a total of 10 times a week, so they pop up fairly often. Yeah. Anyone have a free hand? They're not deploying themselves, you know. We gotta hook up that hacking pod to the power station. There we go. That's it. Connection established. Time to activate the hacking pod. How are you? Season two today for consoles. Awesome, Kilo. Yeah, I'm doing good. We've been having a lot of fun here. Hey, Betsy? Is there a Betsy? One sentry gun ready to be filled. Kill the oppressor! Plasma deployed! Oh, that's cool. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, well, I'm ready whenever. Yeah, it seems like this is a really good spot to fight. Like what you see uh, let's see. Firebolts or thermal exhaust feedback next. Uh. I don't think I'm going to be able to do another one after this, it's Penguin. And is attracting the bugs. I don't feel like I'll have enough time for that. Hacking drone under attack. But uh, if you remind me on, like, Saturday, I'll gladly do it. Take him down. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's still a bot here. Attack complete. Those hours playing video games would pay off. Hey, I ain't one of them. Hey, Barley Bolt. I found my Barley Bolt. Why are you shooting at me? I am furious. I'm gonna get one of them. Bring it to me. Yeah. Oh, the AoE. I know I remember because those are the overclocks I use in Scout. Oh, okay. I probably won't because I use just <laughs> kind of whatever. Uh, too many visual effects. The hacking drone is under attack. Keep it safe so it can work. Sorry about that. Fix it, thanks. Oh, okay. Hacking commencing again. Okay, well, just the boss fight then. Can somebody tell me what overclock Tron's running? Right now I'm running the feedback. Um, the heck is this one called? <laughs> feedback loop and then lightweight magazine. 
Hopefully that helps. Rock and stone, rock and stone, everybody. Hope you guys are having a good Wednesday. At least it's a Wednesday for me. I don't know if it is for everybody else, but <laughs> it might be a Thursday for some people now. Oh yeah, let's patch this up. Do I use firebolts with fire plasma? Oh, okay. What up, Ron? Uh, how is the season two? Really good, Phantom. I really like it. Not Ron, but the new season is amazing so far. Awesome. Oh, wait, you're not doing well? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hope you start feeling better then. Five incredibly difficult, and all the new weapons are fun and very different. Yeah, yeah, rival presence can make them really difficult since you can get mixed swarms of stuff. Opposite end of me again. <laughs> That's what it was earlier.
down. I'm Getting pretty much out of it. <laughs> Which overclock do you recommend for the diffractor? Um, the clean one's really good. <laughs> but like the um, the one unstable one is really strong. The overcharger, where it's essentially like lead storm for the uh, minigun. Shot by the other one. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, <laughs> that was convenient. Stabbed through the wall. That hurt. Oh. <laughs> Alright, boss, you got this. Yeah, there we go. Good job. I haven't uh, disliked any of the diffractors overclocks yet. No, they're all pretty good. Like, one of the. There, well, there's two now that work the way that the diffractor used to work, which are kind of weird, but other than that... The data rack is secured, and you've right, ended the in this area. Damn fine work. Call in a part from the mule to get you home. That was an incredible boss, yeah. That was fun. <laughs> you almost made Homer Simpson. <laughs> Good for dreads. There's one that leaves a magma trail. Good for waves. Yep. Those ones are both really good. 
Uh, so far I only have, I think, two now. Because it hasn't been giving me any. Uh, I tried them all, well, I tried out all the old overclocks on uh, the experimental, and then some of them got changed, so I tried them out there again. So some of them I haven't played a whole lot, but... I don't think there was any that I disliked. Because we just barely got one that mission. The fire trail, yeah. The fire trail's pretty cool. It's kind of like having sticky flames with the flamethrower, but on Engineer. Flame. Oh, apparently, rock and roll apparently I can still get stuff from that. We rock. All right. Rock and cool. stone forever. Does Deep Rock have crossplay? Not really, Phantom. It sort of does, but it's between like. Sure. It's between like um, the Xbox Store and Weapon like the Microsoft Store. The well, they're the same. But if you're on PC and Xbox, then you can play together. And same with like PlayStation 4 and 5, I think you can play together. But that, that's it. Yeah, I saw the platform to extend the AOE range and explode. Yeah. yeah, like this one seems good because it's just small ammo increased charge efficiency. The charge efficiency is really good. Cool drink drop. Can't wait to Oh, I didn't turn on. Yeah, I didn't drink. Dang it. I need my foot log. I'll drink it afterward. Fair warning. Any vandalizing or destruction of but yes, thanks everybody for coming. I really do appreciate it. That will have to be my last mission for today. I will be getting back onto Deep Rock on at least Sunday or Saturday. Um, maybe early Friday. I don't know. Friday is going to be it. <laughs> I ended up over there. Friday is going to be an interesting day for me. Many GGs, Ron. Rock and Stone. See you later. Thanks, Nova. Thanks for being a part of the stream. I do appreciate it. Yeah, cause Friday, I think I have Cheers, some plans I later, so. I don't know. Woo! This is the easier way to get up here. <laughs> if you want to get down, you just got to do this. <laughs> just get incredibly lucky with your RNG. Uh, Steam players can't play with Microsoft Store player sucks. Yeah, you can't do that. Huh. Yes, I'm here. Rock and stone, yeah! All right. Is Steam broken for anyone else? Uh, not right now. Mm. <laughs> Let's see. Um, bye, Ron. Rock and stone. Bye, Kilo. Rock and stone. Nice stream, Ron. Have a nice day slash week. Oh well, thank you, boss. Yeah, I won't be streaming tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. I'm gonna be streaming Friday though. Uh, this morning, yes, just restarted PC or closed Steam by Task Manager. Huh, that's odd. I don't know. Bye, Ron. Bye, guys. Hello? <laughs> Hi, and goodbye. Uh, I'm going to be hopping off now. Like I said, I'll be back Friday. You guys take care. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and a great tomorrow. Uh, rock and stone, everybody, and bye-bye.